Okay, ladies and gents, welcome back to the workshop and part four of the RC Fugly build. Um, today, I'd like to concentrate on, um, on the wing, starting the wing, and I want to show you how I go about setting the wing onto the building board so I know that everything's true and square. Uh, but before we move on to that, I'd like to show you where we're up to at the moment. So if we turn the camera around, I can show you the now completed fuselage. Um, all the planking along the top has been trimmed back to the fuselage sides and a nice radius put on the corners. I've done that top and obviously on the bottom planking there. If you move forward to the nose of the, the aircraft, you will see the hatch has now been sanded and uh, it all blends in nicely uh, to the fuselage sides. You can see that just comes off like so. Like I said in the previous video, I rough this out first uh, off the off the aeroplane, and then when I was very close to the size, I just dropped it on and then just give it a tickle over to blend everything in. If I turn it over, you can see the bottom side of it. Uh, the chin has now been glued onto the bottom of the fuselage sides and it's also been uh, sandpapered up to the finish sort of radius to all blend in uh, with what we've got there with the formers etc. Again I roughed this out off the model uh, and when I got close I then glued it onto the fuselage and uh, give it a tickle over to finish that off. Um, all the plywood parts, like the sides, have all had uh, a good sandpapering. All the sharp edges have been removed. Um, the battery hatch, the same there. That's uh, all been sanded up, ready to go. So now we have a fuselage that's ready to cover at a later date. Uh, moving on to what I did next. Um, these are the ailerons. As you can see, that it's just a basic framework that's all uh, burnt out. Um, that just needed gluing together um, did two of those obviously um, in the middle is the rudder and then we've got the two elevators as well actually uh, I made a bit of a, a boo-boo on the uh, elevator uh, you can see as I um, pressed this piece out of the, the sheet of balsa wood where it had been burnt out I actually chipped the, the tongue off it there so I, I cut it out and I've uh, put a gusset in myself out of um, just some scrap material that was left over in the burnouts. And obviously, to match it up, I did the same on the on the opposite side. So uh, just to give it a little bit more strength. So they're pretty well complete. All that's needed are the forty-five degree bevels on the you know the hinge side of the elevators, uh, the rudder and the ailerons, just to give it uh, maximum sort of deflection up and down as I'm sure you've seen on other kits that you've made in the past. Uh, going over to the wing, uh, the instructions are really good uh, and fairly self-explanatory. It just shows you to slot the ribs um, onto the, the main spar there. The spar web is only 30 second ply, uh, so it's very, very flexible at this stage. Um, and then moving on to part two of the wing, it shows you attaching the leading edge, the trailing edge and the main spar that runs through. Um, I'm using a metal magnetic building board, uh, which I found absolutely invaluable for this sort of work. Um, <clears throat> I'm using this instead of the traditional uh, building board where you pin your parts down. Uh, to hold them flat you use uh, magnetic blocks so my first um, first stage of the job if you like was to cover the building board or the the metal sheet i've got on my um, worktop uh, with grease proof paper uh, this is to stop the glue or any adhesives that i'll be using to uh, to manufacture the wing um, just in case it gets on onto the building board it won't stick or anything like that so uh, that's uh, stage one then I drew a pencil line straight the way down the middle as you can see this is a datum line uh, because this is so flexible at the moment it's only very very thin wood and obviously 
it, it can bend and sort of go wherever it wants. I, I decided to use uh, a datum line just so I know that I'm building the wing absolutely dead straight. It doesn't say that in the instructions because uh, I think it takes it for granted that you're going to uh, build it on a traditional building board. So uh, I've drawn my uh, datum line and then I push these blocks up to the datum line all the way along like so. I then slot the main spar in position and I push these up to the back just to hold everything nice and square. So I now know from the building board up the web here is at 90 degrees. Just holds everything square. It also holds everything in a nice straight line. Um, like I say, this is uh, not in the instructions. It's just something that I'm doing myself. Um, at this stage, I've built everything dry. All these uh, parts are actually loose, but obviously with it being uh, CNC'd um, lasered, there's such a good fit. You can actually build the wing dry and then add the glue afterwards, if you like, which um, that's uh, the technique that I'm going to be using. So uh, the next stage is, is to glue the main spar into position in, onto this web. Um, and then uh, I will attach the leading edge, which just basically slots onto the front, onto these tabs. Um, that will square all the ribs up and uh, I'll glue that into position. And then I'll do the same with the trailing edge with this. It's all been laser cut out. Um, these will slot into position and that will square everything up as far as, um, as, as the wings concerned. Uh, then it's just a matter of going down the joints here with some thin cyano so it um, you know obviously sticks those into position. Uh, after that we'll be uh, sheeting the front edge etc uh, which will that will be a future video and also we'll have to attach the real um, leading edge onto this false one um, and put the radius onto the front uh, again that will be in a future video so that's where we're up to now I uh, hope you've enjoyed it so far um, if you have please subscribe and like my channel and uh, I look forward to you coming back and looking at the next video as the wing progresses